Oh boy, there might be a spider three in my house, so I'll make this one quick. Kill It With Fire is a straightforward, arcadey first-person game about killing spiders by any means necessary. Clipboard? Whack. Frying pan? Whack. Weed eater? Yup. RPGs and flamethrowers? Of course. I have to say, I really didn't expect anything at all from this game, and what I got turned out to not only be more than I expected, but a lot more fun than I anticipated. The premise? Super simple. You're an exterminator of sorts, and well, your job is to eliminate all the spiders. That's about it. They're sneaky little bastards, and they'll run and hide from you. Some of them are even gutsy enough to attack you, so you'll find yourself tearing things apart in a frenzy trying to off these suckers, and it's not only expected, but encouraged. There are quite a few weapons to choose from, and some of them will help you complete the challenges or solve the little puzzles you'll come across as you rid the areas of these eight-legged pests. There isn't much of an overall challenge, aside from the arachno gauntlets. These will have you trying to kill a number of spiders within a time limit using a specific method of dispatch. So make sure you're prepared. These are 100% worth doing. It'll all make sense later on in the game. Aside from your upgradable spider scanner, which you'll be using quite a bit, one of the more useful items you'll grab are these cheese balls. Who doesn't like cheese balls? There are a few flavors you can unlock as you progress, each one offering a different ability. You can even amass your own spider bro army. That's pretty sweet. This is a great pick up and play game. I had tons of fun absolutely wrecking each level in my quest to eradicate the spidery scourge and there are just enough unlocks to have you playing through a couple of times to make sure you get them all. You'll keep all your upgrades and unlocks in between sessions. You'll be able to choose which mission you want to play when you're ready to finish them all, just in case you miss something. The game is pretty short and sweet, so don't expect to be playing this for hours trying to 100% it. It's obviously designed for quick and fun play, and that's exactly what you're going to get. Spider problem? Kill it with fire.